best last start. So I've left him out of my top three, but he can definitely run a place. But he's a very open affair, this um, restricted main max. There's a lot of chances, and that's why we've got a favourite at $25, which is a four to one favourite. Very unusual in a restricted mm. maiden. You know, normally there's two, maybe three big chances, but here, um, you know, there's every, every one of six or seven real top shows. Might, might throw up a few nice horses, this maiden, today. I think race girl is a little unsure at the moment, just waiting for some last minute bets to come in. Let's jump a race and have a look at the third. Uh, quartet uh, carry forward of nearly $69,000. And I was thinking when I was doing the form for this race, Andrew, that um, Manzanillo caught my eye on winning workouts. Had a bit of a break, one run back. Um, he was out of his depth in that be a man race, his stable mate. Um, but I thought the run was all right. I think this is easier, and the distance is right for him. Yeah, he likes the 1,400 metres. He had been racing well over that before he broke through for his um, maiden win max. And, yes, he's, um, he's a type horse. Last campaign, he's, at his first campaign, it just took him time to sort of get his act together. And um, second up here, you're giving him a bit of a push here in the Class 4 event. All right, what about you? Uh, we'll try to help the folks out here with the quartet. I'm sure there's going to be added interest in it with the jackpot. Yeah, I went with su for Superlink. He's fresh up. He hasn't raced for quite some time. Um, there's a few question marks about him because he, he's, he has been entered and hasn't been, um, he's been scratched quite a number of times. But uh, I thought he's um, fresh up here. He doesn't mind the 1,400 metres. I thought he could run well, Superlink. He was my selection but I think it's it's also a tricky race. I was keen on Keegan but he's again drawn quite awkwardly Keegan. Hmm. Yeah. And steel cut I think um, with the blinkers on him he, he did um, win a recent trial with the blinkers on. Um, not sure how he, he's he did win it when he's made and steel cut then he sort of he battled a little bit last start over the 1400 metres in a graduation on the turf. I was just banking with the blinkers on he might be a sharp improver. He did trial nice with the blinkers on. Mm. But he's got he's to bring that form to the races. Yeah. So we're race three. You'll be betting into a pretty big quartet pool. And there's a $100,000 jackpot onto the cup today, folks. Race nine, if you're taking a quartet ticket, uh, there's 100000 there. Singapore Turf Club has put in just to add some extra interest in the race. We're coming up to race two, the Restricted Maiden. Behind the barriers for uh, race uh, number two, the uh, community stakes over 1,200 metres. And the money has come for number six here. No mercy. Han Kello and Don Vertig are into 23 and 9. So checking the top eight here. No mercy has crashed right into 23. And the outright favourite for the race. Bay of Ireland is a 27. 28 for M16. Pentin Time is a 32. 32 also for Triple A. 47 Prince Goldheart. Recycled King at 79. Gold Help is at uh, 84. So No Mercy is the uh, on top selection here for most of the putters. Blinkers go on today. Drawn well. Callow aboard. 
And uh, No Mercy gets the, uh, the nod here from uh, the uh, the putters. Kello winning the first race of the afternoon. Hasn't had a lot of luck in recent times, Kello, but uh, today might be his day. The uh, red lights are on, so the starter is up. Calling them forward here for the uh, Community Stakes, race number two. Gold Help has already gone forward ahead of the rest. Linda Meach taking the ride here. It's $22 for No Mercy. So it looks for sure and certain it's going to go off the favourite, though Bay of Ireland is now into 26. 29 for M16 on the drift. 34 about number 11, AAA, and 35 for number 7, Pent in Time. Despicado going up. It's locked away now, Despicado, right here, right now, and the club colours about to come forward. Golden Larkspur up towards the barrier stalls. We wait on Pent in Time. Loyal fans to come in. Prodigy still out. Bay of Island, no mercy. Prince Goldheart to come in. Recycle King and M16. Five newcomers here. Bay of Island, gold, uh, gold help. Recycle King right here, right now, and walk the line. So Golden Lark Spur, the next to come to the barrier stalls here for race number two of the afternoon. $21 now for No Mercy, 24 for Bay of Island. So it's following it in here. Easily the best two back, the two and the six. No Mercy now at 20. <coughs> You've already backed it. You'll be hoping they start this race ASAP before he shortens even more. No Mercy at $20 and $9. Bay of Ireland at 24 and 9. So we wait on... Uh, Golden Larkspur and Prince Goldheart. Prince Goldheart now goes in. Larkspur is the one they're working on. After that, there'll be five more to come forward here for race number two. Now the uh, the tapes just sliding down well below his rump there, and he doesn't like that. So he's a little bit stirred up now, Golden Larkspur. In the meantime, Bay of Ireland, which is drawn very wide. Most out on the uh, Tapita track. He's a couple from the outside here. In fact, he's the extreme outside because he's drawn in 16, a field of 14, and the, uh, the emergencies were drawn outside him. So he has got the outside gate here, Bay of Ireland. And No Mercy coming in. So No Mercy about to go up, M16, Recycle King. And it looks like the vet just having a look at Golden Larkspur to see if it's done any damage to itself. So M16 goes up. Could have a problem here with Golden Larkspur. Yes, the yellow flag is up. Number 14 is a scratching. Number 14 is a scratching. He'll be taken across to the fibre sand track. So Golden likes a late scratching from this. He was at $293. So shouldn't affect the, the pool or the, the prices too much here. Recycle King coming up, so they're almost set. Community stakes.